Hey guys, uh, today let's see about uh, monitoring tools. Okay, so today let's discuss about uh, Prometheus and uh, Grafana. So I have created the documentation in the DevOps Docs folder um, under monitoring. Okay, so we have um, like uh, very famous tools. Okay, so those are like uh, Prometheus and Grafana. So they are open source. Open source means anyone can contribute uh, uh, to that project and uh, anyone can modify based on their requirements. Okay, so it's an open source monitoring and alerting system designed for reliability and scalability, and it collects metrics from targets. Okay, so it will uh, collect uh, all the configurations and uh, logs, everything uh, from uh, uh, destination servers, and uh, it can be visualized using Grafana and other tools. Okay, so what are the key features of Prometheus? So actually it is a time series based uh, database. Okay, so it will store uh, the data based on the time uh, so that in case if you want to query any errors or something uh, you can query based on a particular time. Okay, and then it is pull based architecture. So actually we have uh, two methods. Okay, one is pull based and another is push based uh, pull, pull based means actually it will pull the data from the servers. Okay. Uh, it will automatically pull in case if it is like push based you have to push the uh, data like you have to push certain configurations so that it will uh, get the data and then it uses a query language called promql okay uh, it is a prometheus uh, query language uh, that is called a promql so you can query anything you need and then uh, you will get the output okay and then it has a built-in alerting so normally by default it won't provide uh, alerting but it has a integration with alert manager okay so in case if you want to send any alerts then uh, you have to use this alert manager and then service discovery so for example uh, in case we have parts services whatever it is so once you configure uh, the um, agent it will automatically discover the existing uh, configurations and it will uh, send it to you okay uh, what so in prometheus uh, we have few uh, key components okay so what are those first one is prometheus server okay so this is the main thing which is responsible for scraping means scraping means finding storing and uh, querying the metrics okay and then it consists of time series database database to save the data based on time series and then scraper scraper is for collecting the data and promql engine okay promql engine it is for uh, executing the queries for example in case if you have to query something you can execute the promql queries okay and then data collection okay so how the data will be connected so for example we have uh, kubernetes cluster okay so kubernetes cluster will have pods services and then uh, we have many components right so in case if you want to get all the details of this thing so actually what we will do we will install prometheus okay we will install prometheus and then we will be installing an prometheus exporter okay so what happens it will automatically once you install it will automatically discover the parts services everything and it will send the data so what is this it is pull based mechanism pull based so data is coming from server to prometheus server so it is called pull based in case if you are pushing then it is push based me mechanism okay so here uh, like uh, prometheus is pull based mechanism and uh, it will use the exporter and automatically identify the different services of uh, vms or uh, kubernetes whatever it is okay so exporters are there so for external services okay in case if we have to use some external services then we have these common exporters okay one is node exporter so when you install node exporter so what it will uh, monitor it will monitor cpu ram disk those things it will monitor and the default port number is 9100 okay and for example if you want to collect uh, any of the docker container metrics okay in case if you want to collect a docker container metrics then you have to use the port 8080 and uh, in case if you have to get any data from http tcp dns endpoints then you can use black boss 
exporter okay and it works on the port number 9115 in case if you want to collect from uh, any of the mysql databases then you can use mysql exporter okay that it will work on the default port number of 9104 so these things are uh, by default uh, available in the prometheus page based on your uh, exporter uh, you can uh, just find and install so how to install this one it is like uh, normally you can uh, install like how you install other softwares okay and then in case if you have some custom applications okay for example your company is using some custom application then you can write a exporter okay you can write a exporter by yourself using any of the languages like python java go you can use any languages and you can write an uh, um, exporter service discovery okay so prometheus dynamically discovers services okay there is no need of mentioning each and every time for example if new parts are created or new services are created automatically it will uh, discover so how it will discover so kubernetes have like in case if you have kubernetes you can discover pod services endpoints you can discover and uh, in case if you want to discover console or etcd like kubernetes etcd aws ec2 azure gcp uh, you can uh, also use this one and uh, you can use static configurations like like manual ips so how you will configure uh, this service discovery so normally you have to define a configuration called scrape configs okay this is the uh, name we have to give and then job you can give name whatever you want for example here if you want to check for pod uh, you can give kubernetes pod or else you can give kube pod whatever like whatever based on your uh, um, like, like uh, however you desire you can uh, give the name and then uh, under kubernetes sd configs under role in case if you have to check for pod you have to give it as pod and in case if you have to check for service you have to give it as service in case if you have to check for endpoint you have to give it as endpoint okay so you have to change uh, these things okay and promql queries okay this promql r is like a prometheus query language so in case if you have to get any of the details like cpu usage in last 5 minutes http requests so you have to pass in these queries okay you, when you pass in these queries you will get the output of uh, those things and alert manager okay in case if you want to send alerts then you can use alert manager okay so this will uh, handle uh, all the alerts like in case if you want to send uh, any slack messages emails or uh, uh, any other thing then you can use this alert manager by default prometheus doesn't have but we have to integrate it with alert manager so that you can configure alert rules okay in uh, in order to send alerts you have to configure alert rules so how you will configure under the groups you have to give name okay based on whatever you want you can give name so in case if you have to set alert we have to set the rules right so we have to define the rules okay alert in case if there is high cpu usage you can give the name is high cpu usage and you can give the expression these expressions you can get from these things okay from promql queries uh, so you can uh, provide the expression and it is greater than 80 percent in case if it is greater than 80 percent it will uh, send the high cpu alert okay in and for five minutes so for five minutes if it is continuously greater than 80 percent it will send the data and uh, labels in case if you want to label it as critical or medium whatever it is during sending the alert you can name it okay and annotation so when we send the alert or uh, mail we should have a description right like cpu usage is above 80 percent for five minutes so those things you can give here okay similarly in case if you want to define different uh, rules for example memory usage greater than uh, certain percentage like 70 percent or 90 percent then you can just uh, modify those things and you can create the alert rules okay so this is how the prometheus works okay so what are the key components so key components are prometheus server okay prometheus server is one of the key components and then uh, it will have time series database scraper prometheus engine and we will have exporters okay so in case if you have some external services and it has uh, exporters already you can use them or else in case if you have some custom applications you can write uh, by your own like uh, using uh, grafana like uh, by using python java and go and uh, you have service discovery so it will automatically discover the services parts and different uh, configurations and we have promql queries okay so in case if you have to query prometheus servers you can use promql queries okay and alert manager in case if you have to send any alerts from prometheus you can use alert manager and grafana okay so grafana is a open source visualization tool okay it is not a monitoring tool it is a visualization tool just for visualizing the data uh, and in case if you have to analyze uh, based on any metrics and uh, based on time series you can analyze it using grafana okay so actually i have shown you guys uh, the real time uh, how these things works grafana and prometheus so 
um so how does this grafana do so the, what are the key features so it can connects to multiple data sources like it, it will not only connect with prometheus in case if you want with prometheus you can connect to prometheus or else you can directly connect to mysql elasticsearch aws cloudwatch other monitoring tools whatever you want you can connect because this is open source okay this is open source and it is just a visualization tool okay so prometheus is a monitoring tool it collects the metrics okay but uh, you will not be able to visualize it in uh, in case if you want to visualize is it you can use grafana this is also open source and in case if you have to create any custom dashboards like graphs uh, stats tables heat maps anything you can uh, create them using grafana okay and alerts and notifications in case if you have to create alerts then you can create it using uh, slack emails everything and uh, user authentication permissions those things can be handled uh, in grafana in case if any of the users need uh, access then you can uh, use them as well okay so what are the com main components of grafana data source okay data source is the server where the data is available okay for example in our case we are seeing uh, prometheus right so we can have multiple uh, sources for example in case if you want to have any of the databases like mysql prosql or aws cloudwatch etc you can use it as the source okay uh, so first step is add prometheus as data source in grafana so what you have to do you have to go to configuration data source add data source okay there you will have multiple configurations like uh, any dbs uh, prometheus etc you can select prometheus and you have to give the url url of your prometheus for example if prometheus is running on 1.1.1.1 uh, 1990 then you have to give that ip address or here they have defined the service okay when you click on save automatically it will import the data from um, prometheus and dashboards okay so in dashboards we will have like uh, panels and uh, in panels we will have graphs gadgets tables sheet maps etc so you can configure them based on these queries okay you can define the queries and uh, it will give the graphs okay alerting okay so in grafana we can set the alert conditions for example if cpu usage is greater than 80 percent then you can uh, uh, give the alert destination you can uh, send emails or slack notification or teams notification whatever it is you can send that one and you have to define the alerts like conditions if it reaches 80 percent or 70 percent whatever it is we have to define those things okay so what is the main difference between prometheus and grafana so the purpose is monitoring alerting okay um, prometheus and grafana is visualization and dashboard and a data source it is time series database and it is uh, queries data sources so it will query the data from prometheus okay and languages is used is promql so the same thing can be used in grafana or else you can use sql so alerts so you can use uh, alert manager this is external but in grafana we have built-in uh, alert management okay you like it is basic graphics like uh, it will be like uh, simple uh, um, environment whereas uh, grafana it will have great visualization okay so how this prometheus and grafana work together prometheus server it will collect all the metrics using exporters okay and then you can send alerts using alert manager or else you can say uh, you can use grafana so grafana will visualize this prometheus data and it will discover all the services automatically and in case if you want to send any alerts you can send them okay so prometheus is a graph uh, monitoring and alerting system grafana is a visualization tool and you can use exporters to collect the data and alert manager to handle the prometheus alerts okay so these are the keywords you have to remember so that uh, you can uh, answer any questions asked in the interview okay so uh, how we install these things so in case if you want to install it uh, so actually i tested it in minikube so you just uh, um, upgrade the system and then uh, install uh, um, required uh, configurations like uh, you can install curl, wget, apt, transport, everything. In case if you want to test it in Minikube, just install uh, Minikube, Minikube version, and you can start the Minikube. Um, okay, it should be Minikube start. Okay, to check whether Minikube is running, you can run this command. And in and one of the easiest methods to install uh, Prometheus and Grafana is using Helm. Okay, so you can uh, just install Helm, and then uh, once in, Helm is installed, we have to add a repo. Okay, we have to add a repo for Prometheus. Okay, and then uh, you have to do Helm repo update. Okay, so what is Helm? Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes. So what is package manager? For example, if you take Ubuntu uh, Red Hat. So for Ubuntu, APT is the package manager and uh, for uh, Red Hat, M is the package manager. Similarly, Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes. Okay. In case if you want to install anything, you can use Helm. Okay. So you can create a separate uh, namespace. 
kubectl create namespace and monitoring and to install uh, prometheus kubes helm install prometheus prometheus community so once you, this is done you can do kubectl get parts okay so you will get uh, something like this okay so we talked about uh, key components right if you see we have alert manager okay this is one of the key configurations and then we have prometheus okay prometheus operator and then we have prometheus and grafana so even grafana will be installed when you install this thing okay and in case if you have to access it you have to patch it with the node port so when you access, access like uh, patch it with node port it will be um, giving you a node port so that you can directly uh, paste the public ip and that node port so that you will be able to access also like you have to like uh, enable it in the security group how do you get the node port in case if you don't know how to see the node port, you can just uh, type in this command okay so it will check for the ports and node port and it will display and in case if you have to check public ip anyway in, in case if you create an easy to instance you will be able to see the public ip or else you can use this command it will display the public ip so that you can pass in like this okay so you will be able to see the prometheus and for grafana so just uh, it will have a default uh, username password so first you have to expose this also on node port and then you can get the node port id and then you can just pass in the ip address and node port so that you will be able to access okay and first time you will need the credentials okay the u default username is admin and to get the password you have to run this command okay when you run this command you will get the password so you can give in username this one and whatever you get here you can pass in as the password and uh, so that you will be and once you log into grafana in grafana go to configuration you will have a uh, option for configuration uh, there you select data source add prometheus and then you give the um, full url of this uh, prometheus okay so that uh, data will be fetched so this is very simple uh, you can uh, try it from your end uh, also in case if you have uh, like you don't want to install and if you want to directly try we are in killer code uh, actually we have uh, grafana labs and thanos this thanos is nothing but uh, prometheus okay you can select this one and then uh, you can uh, just uh, all these things are there so you can uh, just uh, work on this okay so all these thanos things are there So in case if you have to practice, you can practice this in uh, killer code as well. Okay, each and everything is available. Uh, 